Hi friends, Steve here at Ararat Armenian Cemetery in Fresno, California. And I'm parked here just a few feet away from the grave sites of Mike Connors' family. You remember Mike Connors from the popular TV show Mannix, right? Well, his Find a Grave memorial page says that he's buried here in this cemetery. So I went searching. I started by searching in the family plot where his parents and siblings are laid to rest. And there does seem to be space, maybe two graves that have not been marked yet within the, the family area, the family plot. So I was thinking, well, maybe he had an unmarked gravesite since his Finding Grave memorial page says that he was buried here. So I checked with the, the park office here at the cemetery and it took a little while, but she said he wouldn't have been buried with the name Mike Connors. Everyone here, this is an Armenian cemetery, and apparently everyone uses their original Armenian name. And so his name would have been Krekor Ohanian. That was his birth name. And that's the name of his father, but his father, and there is a gravesite here with that name, but the, the death date is 1944, and that was his father. Mike Connors died in 2017. So after talking to the woman for a little while, we figured out the mystery she couldn't figure out. At first, she said she didn't think he was buried here, and then she remembered that he was cremated, and she said that I would have to talk to the family to find out you know, where they are and when they plan to bury them, if ever. And so they are currently, it sounds like, with family, or maybe they were scattered, I don't know. But I do know that quite often, when someone dies and they've been cremated, the ashes are given to family, and family members often want to keep them, especially if he was married. Maybe his wife wants to hold on to his ashes, and then they can both be buried at the same time, sometime in the future, or sometimes kids or whoever, you know, other family members hold on to the ashes at home. And so it sounds like right now that's where they are. So at least according to the woman here with all the records here in the park, says he is not, has not been buried here yet. And so the Find a Grave Memorial page, whoever created that memorial hopefully will see this or hear about this and i'll try to send them a message as well sometimes they don't leave their email addresses so you can't contact them to let them know if there's an error but since i was here i did go ahead and film his family plot or at least his parents and some of his siblings he may choose a different plot he may not you know bury his ashes here when the time comes i also visited his high school and so i'll show you that he was born here in fresno and raised here when he went to high school here and so it's very likely that he will be buried here in the same cemetery as his parents so if anyone else has information that I'm not aware of as far as his final resting place or remains, because the woman that I spoke to... said she didn't know. I mean, once the remains were cremated, she has no knowledge of, you know, who has them or, you know, where they're being kept or what they've done with them. So if someone who maybe knew the family happens to know and can give us an update, please share with us down in the comments section below. I'm sure lots and lots of fans would be interested in, in knowing. Or if family members happen to be watching this, we would love to hear from you to find out what happened. I have actually heard from quite a few family members from some of the famous grave sites that I visited, giving me updates or thanking me for visiting their grave sites and sharing them on YouTube with all of their fans. So if anyone does happen to know anything more about his final resting place, please let us know. The sign on the right hand side here says Mountain View Cemetery, which is a little bit confusing. But after driving around for a while, I discovered that there's at least seven cemeteries here in this general area, and some of them are attached to each other. And in this particular cemetery, you enter through this gate here to get to the Ararat Armenian Cemetery. If you happen to watch my James Bond villain video from a couple of days ago, that was filmed next door at Belmont Cemetery. To find the Ararat Armenian Cemetery, I entered through the front gates here of this cemetery, and then I made the first left-hand turn, and then straight ahead I could see these entry gates here, which now happen to be closed. Mike Connors' family members are buried here just to the right. If you're not familiar with the TV drama Mannix, it aired for eight seasons from 1967 to 1975 and starred Mike Connors as Joe Mannix, a Los Angeles private investigator. Connors died from leukemia in Tarzana, California on January 26, 2017 at the age of 91. Connors' co-star on the show was actress Gail Fisher, who played his secretary, Peggy Fair, and she won an Emmy Award and two Golden Globe Awards for her role. She died from kidney failure in Culver City, California on December 2nd in the year 2000 at the age of 65. 
she was cremated and her ashes were scattered, so she has no final resting place to visit at this time. Actor Ward Wood, who played the police lieutenant, died in Santa Monica, California on November 3rd, 2001 at the age of 77. No cause of death was listed and he was cremated and has no final resting place to visit at this time. Just a dozen or so rows east of Mike Connors' family plots is another famous grave of a Fresno native. And like Connors, he also went to Fresno High School. William Soroyan was an internationally acclaimed novelist and playwright who was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Drama in 1940 for the play The Time of Your Life. In 1943, he won an Academy Award for Best Story for the Human Comedy. He's also been called one of the most prominent literary figures of the mid-20th century. He was born here in Fresno, California on August 31st, 1908, and died here in Fresno from prostate cancer on May 18, 1981, at the age of 72. Half of his ashes are buried here, and the other half are buried in Armenia at the Comitas Pantheon. The smaller headstone in front of his belongs to his daughter, Lucy Saroyan. Lucy was an actress and a photographer who died from cirrhosis of the liver caused by hepatitis C in Thousand Oaks, California on April 11, 2003 at the age of 57. Her mother was actress Carol Grace, who after divorcing Soroyan, married actor Walter Matthau. As an actress, Lucy appeared in a dozen movies, many of them starring her stepdad, Walter Matthau. She also appeared in a number of TV shows, including Mannix. So I think it's probably safe to say that the Soroyan family and the Connors family were likely all friends outside of work as well. Once again, cemeteries remind you of what a small world it really is, especially in the entertainment business. Soroyan died 40 years ago, and if this is the original headstone, someone has done a really nice job of taking care of it over the years. It looks brand new. Either way, it's very nice to see headstones so well maintained over the years. Now I'm going to drive over to Fresno High School, which is only around three miles northeast of here. Soroyan and Connors are pretty famous alumnus, but there are also a few other very famous alumni who attended Fresno High School as well, and one superstar alumna. So do you know who I'm referring to? Here's a hint. She's famous worldwide and only uses her first name. Sherilyn Sarkeesian, also known as the Goddess of Pop, or just Cher, dropped out of school at the age of 16, but she attended Fresno High School in 1960. And here's her high school photo. It's kind of amazing how little she's changed over the years. Ross Bagdasarian, who created Alvin and the Chipmunks, also went here. Hall of Fame baseball player Tom Seaver went here. And so did singer and actress Jenny Sims. That's quite an impressive list of former students who went on to make it big. I've never been here before, so I don't know how large or small this school is. So I'm just going to drive around it and see what we can see. These days, at least in California, most high schools are gated and locked, so you can't just go in and walk around, but it's still kind of fun and interesting to see what they look like from outside the gates. And this one, like most, is surrounded by a residential neighborhood. The high school opened in 1922, and even though much of what I'm looking at right now looks much newer, some of the homes across the street do look like they date back to the 1920s. This library and media center definitely look a lot newer than that. I wonder how many of the famous alumni that I just mentioned lived nearby and were able to walk to school. I was lucky enough to be able to walk to my grammar school and to my middle school, but I had to take a bus to my high school. How about all of you? Did you walk or did you take a bus too? This is a pretty impressive looking high school. It's not like any high school I've ever seen, especially here in California. Have any of you watching this video attended Fresno High School? If so, I'd really love to know if they have any type of memorial or monuments or plaques to their famous alumni. Or if any of the students going here now have even heard of any of these famous people. This week, I'd like to give a shout out and a very big thank you to my newest Patreon supporters, Lisa Marie Banyala and Crystal Jacobsmeyer. Thank you so much, Lisa Marie and Crystal, for your extra generous donations to my channel. These very generous donations really do help make future trips like this possible, and they're very much appreciated. I also want to thank my many new subscribers this past week as well. It's really nice to know that so many of you 
are interested in continuing to take more trips like this with me in the future. Until next time, thanks for sharing the memories, everybody.